Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be making Fiji style steam pudding. So in terms of my ingredients, I've got butter, two teaspoons of nutmeg, two teaspoons of baking powder, two banana, two and a half cups of self-raising flour, one cup of sugar and one can of coconut cream. Now um, in a cold pan, we'll add our sugar in there and we'll let that heat up and caramelize really nicely. Now if you prefer it sweet, you can add more than one cup of sugar, but this is how we like it. So now you can see that that's all caramelized really nicely. Don't be afraid for it for that burnt smell to come through. You do want it to caramelize really nicely because that's where the taste comes from. Now this part, we've added one cup of water and you need to trust the process with this because what you want is you'd want the sugar solids to dissolve really nicely with the water and make it into a nice smooth caramel. So giving it, a, giving it a nice stir and we'll just let that cook up for a bit and you'll see what it looks like once it's all done. Now that's all dissolved really nicely. What we'll do is we'll add a can of coconut cream. Now with the can that I'm using, I've actually measured half a cup of water and you'll soon see that we'll be adding that to this mix as well. You do want to give it a nice stir. You want the coconut cream to mix in with your sugar syrup. And with the coconut cream, you don't want it to boil over. As soon as it heats up, as soon as you start seeing um, the bubbles coming from the side, that's when you want to turn it off and just let it sit and cool down. Cool enough for you to touch with your hands when you're mixing with the dry ingredient. So you can see I'm giving it a nice stir and it will turn into a nice golden color once it's all done. So giving it a stir, you see that I, I've changed my spoon as well. So I would suggest not to use a plastic spoon when you are making this because the sugar will all clump up and it won't be really, it'll be really hard to take it off from a plastic spoon. So that's turned out really nicely and it's starting to smell really good as well. Now with this mixture, if you do have a lot left over, just save it, put it in a container, put it in the fridge and you can use it to make another um, pudding as well. Now don't be afraid of those milk solids because they will all dissolve once it's all heated through nicely. In my pan, I've added my self-raising flour. I've added my butter. Now I've used 75 grams of butter for this recipe. I would suggest using 50 grams of butter. I've added my nutmeg and my baking powder and I've given it a nice stir and that's what it looks like. Um, to this we'll add our caramel and we'll give it a, a nice stir. The better you want it to be not as, um, you want it to be like a cake but better or a bit more thicker than that. I've added my banana and I forgot to men mention you need to also put some raisins in here. So I've put that in a pot. Now with the pot I've actually buttered it really nicely, sprinkled some flour on it and I've put a nice foil over it and we'll put it in a big handy with some uh, water in it and let that steam so that you can see that's an old school way of setting it up. Put something heavy on top. So I've allowed, to, allowed it to steam for about an hour and a half. Depending on the size you might want to do it for two Two hours just keep checking it while you're doing it once that's done cut it up really nicely you can serve it with some butter and some nice tea now if you like my content feel free to like and share and subscribe to my channel